<laughs> what is going on, everybody? To pray, flash here. We are fine. No, I'm we're back. Fine. <laughs> We're back with another music reaction. I'm depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are Hella Depraved. Fine. We're fine. This is fine. We were struggling. Well, I was struggling, was struggling specifically. <laughs> My headphones decided not to, to not be friendly. Not. Yeah. They nodded. Yeah. Um, so we have both great and sad news, and we say this at the end of every album. It's Pretty great. Much. We have finally reached the end of the album. It is sad because we've finally reached the end of the album. But it does mean that we get to listen to it, the full album, all the way through, on repeat, and there are plenty of other good songs that we can move on to. Yes. Unlike other artists, this is not one that we don't have other stuff that we can listen to for reactions after this. So, like... Yeah. Um, some other good news is this does mean that next week we'll be on to King Crooked. Right. So King Crooked dropped an album shortly after this one came out. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, I think it was called Flags or something like that. Right. Um, well, the EP. Right, which is what we're going to do next. Yeah. Which we're also excited about. And there's so. not a whole lot of songs there to cover either. We might be able to th get through that within about... Because we've already done a couple of them. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, but anyways, enough about that. But there so. will be more Sarok, so... Yes, there will always be some Sarok, as long as she keeps putting out music. And uh -huh. we also have stuff we haven't covered yet. So, right. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, we are super excited for this, though. Last one. So, with that being said... Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to react to this as if you guys have already heard it. If you've not heard it, please click the link in the description below. Hop on over, watch the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment, let Sarok know we sent you, and then come on back. And we say that because we are a breakdown channel. We will be talking about the lyrics. Um, we've, like, like I think we said in the last one, we've got to the point where we pause it every eight bars or so. Read the lyrics. Read the lyrics out. Explain what we think they mean. Interpretations, viewpoints, so on and so forth. Yep. Yep. Um, and yeah, so there will be pauses. Uh, so, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to slash it up and break it down. This is Saurok with Grounded. Grounded. Can't ground me. You're not my real mom. Watch me, child. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's gonna be right when I'ma be right about me. I know it's gonna be alright when I'ma get back on my feet. Forever shame, like a long time coming, lines of sight blurred. Except for these points, I summon out the roof of my trap and off the floor of my stomach. Got my prayers stacked just in case my sword start plummeting. One of these days I'ma get all of me honesty Always thought that was an oddity Heart on my arm beating harmony with the shinners Causing all the descendants Marvel and dead devils They cage with no perfect defenders <laughs> uh, You got a Marvel geek In the house, sorry I just about choked on my Maybe she's there. a comic nerd <laughs> I mean, aren't we all? Any of us that matter All the good ones are Right And Daredevil Come on now. All right. Back at the beginning. All right. So the chorus started. I ain't always going to be right, but I'm going to be right about me. So this is actually a very adult thing. <laughs> and out, there's, there's a reason. Most people roughly from about 10 to 18 and 19 years old think they're right about everything. Right. Always. And I know. I was a teenager. I've been there. Right. <laughs> But you eventually get to the point where you realize and you become comfortable with understanding you're not always going to be right. In every situation. In every situation. But the best thing you Hopefully can do... Hopefully you realize that. I was going to say this is more about maturity than right. it is about age. Um, but the one thing you can do is be right by you. Right. Do right by your own morals, ethic, code. Right. Um, and then I ain't always going to be all right... But I'm going to get back on my feet. And that's, again, something everyone goes through. 
life's not all rainbows and sunshine, sunshine, right? And happy thoughts. But eventually, you'll get through it to the point that you can get back on your feet and carry on. Exactly. All right, that was just the course. Then she says, "Forever seemed like a long time coming. Lines of sight blurred, except for these poems I summon." Um. So, <laughs> lines of sight. I love that. It's a double. Lines of sight blurred, except for these poems I summon. Like saying lines of li line of sight is like what you can see. Right. Things that are in front of you. If something breaks your line of sight, then you can no longer see. But lines of sight blurred except for the poems she summons meaning she, her poems are um or raps are which, written on lines of paper well yeah are written on lines of paper but at the same time like she's writing down what she sees well and it's it's all around kind of more like uh, hindsight too right because a lot of the stuff she's written about is what she knows, what she's come from, her past, stuff that has already happened. So, I, as, except for the stuff that she um, is busy manifesting right now for herself. Right. And again, she's going to be right about her. So, And she's also saying it's blurred except for the poems that she summons. So, like, the poems aren't blurred. She knows exactly right. Right. What, what she's, she's doing, down. where she's going, exactly. Um, out of the roof of my trap... And off the floor of my stomach, got my prayer stacked just in case my soaring star plummet. Um, out, out of the roof of my trap, talking about, I'm guessing she's saying her house was a trap house when she was... Yeah, but also trap is mouth and roof, the roof of your mouth. So right. it's a double again. Um, and then off the floor of my stomach... And your stomach floor is normally that pit in the base of your stomach when you get anxiety or hunger pain. So if you're in a trap house, you're going to be hungry. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got my prayer stacked just in case my soaring star plummet. I already said that, didn't I? Well, eh. you didn't go over it, though. Right. And she said that she's summoning her prayers, which in a way is making them into chants, which is a type of prayer. So she's got a whole bunch saved up for like if her fame starts to dwindle right one of these days i'm gonna give all of me honestly always felt i was an oddity so she's still saying she's not fully right putting it all out there um but she and she's saying she's always felt out of place yeah um, heart on my arm, beat in harmony with the sinners, which, you know. They so, say wear your heart on your sleeve. That's the most compassionate type person. Right. And a lot of times it's actually not said in a positive light anymore. It used to be if you wear your heart on your sleeve, you're, you're honest, you're compassionate. It used to be a good thing. And then she goes on to say gods and all their descendants, which I think there's supposed to be a comma there. So it's like my arm, the heart on my arm beat in harmony with the sinners, gods, and all their descendants. Right. But so just saying be, with people. There could be the comma after sinners, gods and all their descendants marvel at their devils they cage with no public defenders. Right. Um, so again, superheroes are often considered gods. Uh, demigods, yeah. Um, that would be the descendants, gods and all their descendants. Right. But at the same time, like, I, I, again, this is where the nerd in me got super excited. So she says, Marvel at Daredevils, they cage with no public defenders. So Daredevil is a public defender. Right. In the comics. In the Marvel. Right. Um, comics. Which he's also a superhero. Right. And then Luke Cage is also a superhero. But their group, when it's Luke Cage, him... Right. It's Luke Cage, Daredevil, Iron Fist, and uh, Jessica Jones create a group called the Defenders. Right. So right. just a fun... <clears throat> multiple play Multiple thing. play on yeah. words. Yeah. But then it's also saying like Mar Marvel is like staring in amazement. Right. Um, so staring in amazement at Daredevils, they cage with no public defenders. So talking about people that are fighting for their rights. 
they get locked with no up advocates and they don't have public defenders to help right. them yeah i don't i think it might be gods and all their descendants marvel like without a comma between descendants marvel like it's the gods and their descendants that might be marveling <clears throat> at the dare devils they cage just saying like the people on top of the world being the gods and the right. descendants again that could be she she could have left that in the midst there with the uh break after sinners and the break after descendants because gods and all their descendants apply to both the sentence before and the sentence afterwards which is what we did with it so right you never know with her but yeah i, I do like her adding in the little that one sentence has so many different ways to flip it right with the shinners, gods and all the descendants, Marvel and dead devils, they cage with no public defenders. I like winter in linens and summer in caramel fleece. Gotta keep them on their toes in case the carousel cease. Cause the second I switch up the broken record, my bread is stop rising regular like I failed to add yeast. And a grand one, a pound of your flesh for the networks. Caught up on them validated checks, called it net worth. Stories given pieces, got them feeding off an excerpt. Are you out the best parts? Are you fight away just like a desk clerk? Did it? I admit it, kept the aura light hidden. Now I all right so a winter in linens and summer in caramel fleece got to keep them on their toes in case the carousel cease so that's back ass word like linens are for hot weather and fleece is for cold weather and Lil Wayne actually had a bar like this, but I don't remember how he worded it. He said something about wearing uh, wearing fur coats in the summer, right? And something in the winter. There's also white beaters in the winter, or something like that. I don't remember how he flipped it. But. The crap that you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day or some shit like that. White is also a winter color, y'all. What do you call snow? Right. Um, so, you know, she's, she's added both of those in there, but got to keep them on their toes in case the carousel cease. So carousel is normally, it has the ponies and dragons and stuff, and it's the animals that go around in a circle and up and down and it's a continuous circle. Um, so yeah, cause the second I switch up. Oh, come on, baby. You wanted to say it. No, I didn't. Cyclical. No, no, no. I did not. Because the second I switch up the broken record, my bread will stop rising regular like I failed to add yeast. So bread rises because of adding yeast to it. Otherwise, it's unleavened, which means it didn't rise. Um, but the second she switches up her style, or I think she feels like it's more like her lane like, if she ever became untrue to herself, like, her <clears throat> ability to grow, her ability to rise, ascend, gain fame, will will stop. Um, add, and the gram want a pound of your flesh for the networks. So, I like it because she's talking about the awards, because it's a capital G. But a gram is also a unit of measurement. And so she's also reference uh, the gram is also what Instagram is called. Right. So there's a whole bunch of references in there and um, caught them up. I definitely think she's talking about Instagram, though. OK, so Graham want to pound your flesh for the network. So like Instagram influencers. Right. Are known for taking sultry pictures, whether they're eating at a hotel. Right. But whatever. I agree with you, but pound of your flesh is also, it's been used a lot in terms of like, they want you to work your ass off. Well, and that's what like mainstream industry wants too for music. Well, I, I say it because it goes on to say caught up on them validated checks because a lot of people do the Instagram thing for validation. Right. Like if you're not getting likes, if you're not right. getting follows, you don't feel like. No, no. It, I, it's, it's a way of I was also taking that as. It, it's also the industry check, like an actual written check for your bank account. Right. So then it says call it net worth. So Instagram's right. on the internet. Yep. And it's it's judging. I think the whole what, thing is a double. Right. And judging what you're worth based off of what other people say of right. you. Right. Right. 
Stories give them pieces. Got them feeding off an excerpt of you. So, yeah, they never tell the whole truth. Because if they just give it in little tiny bites, they can twist it. Um, well, the best parts of you filed away just like a desk clerk. And you keep your files, paper files. Desk clerks file paper files. Um, but, yeah, that's just... They never tell the good stuff, just the dramatic stuff that can sell a, st a headline. Right. Um, did it, I admit it, kept the aura light hidden. Now I shine on every click and sun them all on my rhythms. <laughs> so, yeah, now, now she's letting out all of her uh, without hiding who she truly is. Right. And she's shining on every click. And sun them all on the rhythms is, like, she's sunning you all on her rhythms, like how masterful she is. She <laughs> but also, she's letting the light loose, so it's sun, S-U-N, as in daylight. Right. Like, unmasking it. Isn't that where we stopped? Yep. Okay. Light hidden, now I shine on leg, click and shine them all on my rhythms Cause I'm brand little more than just a glorified prison Understand I was always more to meet your eye vision, that's free I know <laughs> I stopped at just two bars too short Right? Cause a brand little more than just a glorified prison True, you, you sign a deal and, you know Understand I was always more than meets your eye vision, that's free <clears throat> So, yeah But I'm gonna be right about me. I know it's gonna be alright. But I'm gonna get back on my feet. And that's the way it is. You can tell me nothing. You might like an image, but you don't really love me. I got too much in me for you to take it from me now. That's how I learned to be free. I was on my humble. They say the pride go before the fall. Watch a lot of rookies stall, ran relays before they crawl. Back then, every verse I started gave me momentary pause. The masterpieces lapsed and at your feet between my jaws. I was worried how the world might view me through their lens. All the negatives developing me. Image made me cringe. Used to fire your cannons out my mental chambers on a whim. But I could barely find the sparks that I kept flaming with the pen that I. Mm. Uh, so she does go on in the chorus to say, and that's the way it is, you can't tell me nothing, you might like an image, but you don't really love me. I got too much in me for you to take this from me now, that's how I learned to be free. So basically, she came to love herself, and no matter what you say about her, she knows that it's not real. It's not the truth, you don't really know her, and that's how she learned to be free of all the negativity. Right. Um... I was on my humble, they say that pride go before the fall, watched a lot of rookies stalled, ran relays before they crawled. So they didn't climb up the right way. They went too too fast too soon. They right. they didn't Yeah, it was it was the pride that brought them down. So back then every verse I started gave me momentary pause. The masterpieces lapsed and atrophy between my jaws. So atrophy is your, your muscles uh, breaking down because of not using them. So um, she, she just was having a problem like continuing her verses because she just wasn't working the muscles all the time. Um, I was worried how the world might view me through their lens saw the negatives develop in me, image made me cringe. <laughs> so, yeah, the reason that she was having problems with those verses was that she was too concerned about outside views, like how people were going to take it, how they were going to interpret her music instead of just speaking her truth because it was her truth versus what everybody else thought. Um, and all of those negative thoughts were starting to break her down and that image of herself that she saw was not good. It's cringy. Right. It's also a double. Um, well, wordplay. Mm -hmm. She says, I was worried how the world might view me through their lens. A lens is something on a camera. Saw the negatives develop, which a negative is what the, the camera, film. the old school film prints to the little black strips that you'd see. You had to develop them. You had to develop them. So, um, Into an image. 
So when she would develop, whenever you develop it, the image made her cringe. So like she didn't like what she's seen in the picture. Right. I just love to play on words with all the camera references. I like taking pictures too. She, I, she not of myself does. though. Those images always make me cringe. Yeah. yeah. Was that it? Um, I think so. Oh no, we we heard the used to fire okay. cannons. Used to fire cannons out my mental chambers on a whim, but I could barely find the spark. Still, I kept flaming with the pen. So, yeah, she used to what freestyle, just off the, off the top of the dome, but she just couldn't find the spark to sit down and write tracks. Um, she she just kept on working with the pen. Until one day she finally was like, I gotta do this for me. Right. Get cannons out my mental chambers on a whim, but I could barely find the sparks that I kept flaming with the pen. Then I said, fuck it. Might as well just make it public. If they can't rock with the ugly, right along with cute, it won't get published. I'm the seed of epic queens that Hercules and strength head up the skies. Fought too many of them, suckle dry, discarded, husk the lie. Hit me like a slow bullet, shall they? I do surrender. I was born into some cheese shit, learned to shoot with full cylinders. Drew that power out my blood and won the globe with loose syringes. Cause my spirit been ignited, y'all might get stuck diffusing embers, y'all. <laughs> All right, then I said, fuck it, might as well just make it public. If they can't rock with the ugly right along with cute, it won't get published. Um, I think there comes a point in time where you do have to just say fuck it and just be you. Right. And if your tracks are about trauma, because that's what you know, that's what they're about. Right. Um, yeah, it's it's honestly probably one of the biggest issues I have with a lot of hip hop today is people just aren't themselves. Well, they're they're not genuine for sure because it, like she said and it's right alongside with the cute. So, she openly admits like she's a human, she has a human range of emotions. Some songs are going to be anthems and some songs are going to be about trauma. And that's, that's just the way it is. And you have to realize that artists are human beings. So people that are constantly just selling you sunshine and rainbows, that's, that's not the whole, the whole picture. Right. I'm the seed of ebony queens. The Herculean strength held up the skies. Far too many of them suckled dry, discarded, husk, denied. Um, just in reference to... She's the ancestor, the seed of Ebony Queen, so right. of uh, probably her African uh, ancestors. Right. And their Herculean strength held up the skies. There's plenty of stories, myths about that kind of thing, but also, you know, they they had a lot of regal structure there. They they carried a lot of weight on their shoulders, um, but they were drained. For, for all that worth that they had. And a husk is what corn normally comes in. It's, it's the leaves that dry up and become dry and you take the corn outside. You, you take the seeds out of the husk. So she is the seed, but the seeds were taken out of Africa. I think it's a, it's a whole bunch of doubles in there in terms of like the prosperity of the continent in terms of all of the the stuff that has been harvested people included from the land and taken away and then it's just kind of discarded you know um where were we oh hit me like a slow bullet shoddy i do surrender i was born into some g shit learned to shoot with full cylinders drew that power out my blood and warned the globe to lo of loose syringes um <clears throat> so she was saying she was born into a rough life. Yeah. Born into some G shit. Um, learned to shoot with full cylinders, so like learned to pop off. Right. Um, drew that power out of her blood and warned the globe of loose loose syringes. So I don't know, my mind's drawn a blank. I'm Well, I mean blood in syringes is not something that you're supposed to share. Right. So she's just warning them that, like, she has that warrior strength in her blood. 
and that strength to survive. But on the flip side, you know, one should not be playing around with syringes at this point. Right. <clears throat> I think that's where we left off at. Mm -hmm. I want my blood and want to flow with loose syringes because my spirit been ecstatic. Y'all might get stuck to fuse the numbers. Y'all gonna get it all. Power in that pain too. It never really loved the sun till I saw what that rain do. And it's becoming clear to me that every line don't have to have an angle. Rather inspire the truth than entertain you. And that's free. free, free, free. I know. I like that. I did too. Because my spirit been ignited. Y'all might get stuck diffusing embers. And embers are normally what is the product of uh, fire. They, they are the burning embers, but that happens after it's been ignited. Um, Y'all gonna get it all. Power and that pain too. Ain't never really loved the sun till I saw what the rain do. So, again, it's that human duality and range of emotions. Like, she wasn't able to truly appreciate the good things in life without going through the bad things. You don't know what your value is until you lose it. Um, but it's becoming clear to me that every line don't have to have an angle. Rather, inspire the truth than entertain you. And again, a lot of people go into hip hop expecting doubles and dad jokes and bars and just stuff that makes you laugh or, you know, there's the club songs now, there's the pop songs. It doesn't have to be hip hop. And it's all entertainment. It's all for show. It has no inspirational or thought provoking value to it whatsoever. And she said she'd rather inspire the truth and entertain you like that's why we listen to her and then she says and that's free because yeah. that it helps you feel yeah it helps you feel free but also free. she's giving it to you for free um also the double there every line doesn't have doesn't have to have an angle if it's so, a straight line if it's a straight line you don't have an angle right jazzy edge to that that, that was hook. the last song on the album yeah. like the actual last track yeah it's a good outro it is I'm kind of sad yeah but I'm not because now and, I can replay this a million times well and I, I, I like and just to elaborate more on the end of that second verse I, I like a lot of I, I get into debates with people quite often about hip hop and one of the things I would posted on Twitter within the last couple weeks was being tired that people think in order for a hip hop song to be good, it has to have a double or triple entendre, or it has to have multi syllable rhyme schemes. Right. Like, that's the only thing. Like, that's. Yes, those things sound good. And they're entertaining. And they're entertaining. But sometimes just being 100% straightforward with what you have to say right. is more effective than making people search through double meanings to find it. And, I mean, that's not to say, guys, that we don't enjoy that stuff. That, that is Obviously what we, do. we do. Eminem's we, my favorite yeah. artist, and that's all he does anymore. But on the flip side, like, that's not where hip-hop started, for, for one. No. It was meant to be inspirational. It was meant to be an anthem. It was meant to be a war call. It was meant to be everything but just pure entertainment. Right. Um, but I, I, I feel like... People are listening for either what you were saying before or club stuff so much that they get frustrated 
with the songs that just are kind of raw truth. And I, I think that's one of the things that I really enjoy so much about Sarok is she mixes the two. Like, I, you guys have seen some of our reactions at this point, or if you haven't, go back and watch them. But there are some that we sit there, and it's a whole history, mythology, religious lesson all tied into one with bars and doubles and, you know, this, that, and the other, but it still has a message. Right. And it's still 100% truthful. And she's just baiting you with the references. But the references themselves are no joke. They're they're very poignant. They're always deep, deep references to her ancestry or upbringing or the treatment that she's, she's seeing. And I, I just love the way that she's able to mix it. But I... The fact that she ended everything on the the one line about that um, inspiration versus entertainment, right. I like the entire album ends on that. I I love how she did that. Right, and one of the things I've also, at least the way it feels like to me, and I feel like this is also something else that's missing in hip hop now. Um. And it's one of the reasons I like the YouTube scene. Because the YouTube scene feels this way as well. I, I really do feel like she's writing music for her. Mm -hmm. And puts it out. And it's one of those things where it's like, either you fuck with it or you don't. Right. And if Which you, she finally stated in this song. Right. And if you don't, cool. I don't I don't right. care. But if you do, if it if you do, even better. Right. Like I I love that she finally just you. like this entire track, this last song was about that. I mean, she's she's hinted about it in her other uh, tracks, but not devoted an entire song to, hey, it used to be that I even got writer's block because I was so mired down with the thought of what other people were seeing or what they'd think if they heard all the truth or, you know, so on and so forth. Would they discount me even more than they do? Finally, she was just like, you know what? You get the, the good, bad, beautiful, ugly, happy, sad, like, trauma, future happy days, fame and glory, what whatever comes, like, that's me. And I'm going to give you the truth, and if you don't fuck with it, you know, fine, but I'm finally letting my, my light shine, and I hope to inspire someone by it. Right. Yeah. Excellent great, message for the times. Great message, great song, great end to the album. This has been a fantastic album. Definitely, probably Fucking one of fantastic. Probably one of the best albums of last 2020. year. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely put it in my top five. It's it's in my top three, for sure. Um, absolutely incredible. Soul Messiah knocked it out of the park with all the production and the beats and the mixing, and. Even, like, the features she had on it were incredible. I like that she kept it kind of on the light side with them, but the ones that she did have were, like, Black Thought. Um, just I, just incredible. You no complaints it. whatsoever. So, now I can listen to it on repeat <laughs> and memorize it. <clears throat> All right, guys, with that being said, if you guys liked the video, slash that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, comment down below what did you think of Cyrock Grounded. Also, what did you think of the Sharecropper's Daughter as an entire album? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see reacted to. Check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons. Come join us on our other social media platforms, mostly Twitter, if you want a quicker response. And with that being said... We love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Cannot wait to see you depraved people later.